What's up everyone, Roger here from DizKingdom.com with your Disney Kingdom Daily Show. So I'm going to be running through all of today's Disney news um, as if there wasn't enough announced at the D23 Expo. They've come out with some new stuff um, over the last 24 hours. So let's jump into it. First off, let's start off with a new Coco um, Festival coming to Disney California Adventure. Running from September the 15th through to November the 2nd. It's an immersive collection which includes special entertainment featuring mu musicians and dancers, interactive activities, including a representation of Mexican folk art and special day decor and food inspired by Mexican celebration of the family. Obviously that all intertwines with um, Coco which is opening up on in November and also looks like and there's going to be a selected um, preview starting as well from November the 5th running right through until the 7th of January which makes sense of what they've been doing a lot lately um, is whenever a new movie comes out is put a preview on in in the park so it definitely makes sense that they're doing that but it's cool to see kind of integrating sort of coco straight into the parks there and now jumping over to another story here um the um copper creek villas and cabins at the disney wilderness lodge have opened up which is um all about the um for disney vacation club owners it's the 14th resorts and it's late and so great to see something new happening there as well while it was kind of revealed at the D23 Expo when it's been officially kind of announced that a brand new um, film is coming to the China Pavilion in Epcot featuring brand new technology. Um, it's sort of, they're pioneering many new different storytelling and motion picture innovations. They developed a new a next generation digital camera system, much like they did for Soaring. Our team is going through um, basically doing a, a new seamless circle vision. I think this is great. I think it's exactly what they're doing. Um, Rumours as well that um, they're going to be like including um, Mushu from Mulan in this to kind of give it a sort of Disney feel to it rather than you know, like over in China where they use Martin Short. I think that would be good. I've always loved that um, China Pavilion um, and so it would be great to have this one in. No date on when that's coming in but still pretty cool. Um, now jumping over again to um, another bit of um, merchandise news. So Disney are going to be bringing out a brand new collection of um, Dooney and Burke products beginning on July the 22nd available at the Disney Springs so things here we've got um, the Princess and the Frog ones these are going to be um, they'll be released in two collections and guests will also be able to meet um, Ian Ray who is the creative director of Dooney and Burke from half past 10 in the morning till 12 o'clock um, over at Disney Springs at the Market Co-op so you can see here two great looking bags so if you're into your bags and you want to check them out there's also a brand new one featuring a design inspired by the um, Haunted Mansion attraction, which also includes a brand new Magic Band. You can see that that one does look rather cool. So again, that one there um, is available from um, July 22nd. Um, it's also kind of interesting to see it says it will be released at Disneyland Resort as well. So I'm wondering whether or not, um, oh, sorry, all the other items except for the, the Magic Band. Now I was just thinking, why would they release the Magic Band there? But no, so yeah, so they're all going to be available in Disneyland minus the Disney, um, the Magic Band. I suspect this stuff will end up online as well, so that looks pretty cool. Um, so if you're into, into the Haunted Mansion, which then leads on to another story now about Halloween, which again was revealed during the D23 Expo, but now we've kind of got some more images and stuff. We got Happy Halloween from Cars Land, which is gonna be running from September the 15th to October the 31st at in Disneyland's California Adventure. Um, Cars Land will have you know all new like sort of neon stuff it does look rather cool i love the concept art there of like having almost like oogie boogie over the um the entrance there um so everyone's gonna have they're gonna be turning radiator springs into radiator sc um screens and so i just think this is a great way because um Mater's junkyard jamboree is going to be coming Mater's graveyard jamboree and luigi's rock and roller coasters will become luigi's honkin halloween um Beyond of um, Vista Street, which will cast a new spell um, with um, content inspired by the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, they'll also be doing bits and pieces over at Disneyland Park as well, because they're going to have the, the famous um, Pumpkin Festival. Um, and also there will be Halloween party guests, uh, which all the tickets are out now and stuff. So it does feel a bit odd. Obviously, we are, <laughs> we are in sort of July. For me, the, the, the kids' summer holidays are literally just starting this week, so everyone's in full summer mode. So, but, you know, Disney getting ready for the Halloween isn't too far away. It's great to see that one coming in. 
Okay, so now jumping over a little bit more merchandise. Um, Disney Store have released um, some special edition limited t-shirts featuring Lion King designs. So you've got I Can't Wait to Be King. You've got King of the Jungle, Akuda Matata. And then we've also got... Um, I can't even read that, that one there. It was my asses. There we go. And the website looks down. There we go. So these are available at $44 for two. Or you can probably pick them up for $22.99. So there we go. That's just as the website just crashes as we're doing it. So you, we have, they're only going to be available this week. They will... Um, this is the thing with the limited release t-shirts they will only they only arrive online and you order them and then they print them up and i think it's great when they do this and while at 29.95 for the adults ones are usually pretty pricey if you look at the, the 44 that really brings that price down obviously as well they've had that 25 percent off recently i don't know if that will apply to that one there and finally the last story um story reported over on the Diz. um obviously we've known that disney disney quest has been I closed down at the beginning of the month. Well, a notice of commencement regarding Disney Springs attraction was been filed today. These don't they don't go into too much detail. The de demo of the structure and additional work was put down. Um, we don't yet know really kind of what's going in. Um, too much more. Um, it's, it's it is odd because obviously they, they um were, are going to be putting in the NBA experience. So it looks pretty good. It's the fact that that is now in the full on demolished state. Definitely says there's going to be a lot of work going on. There's a lot of work going on right across Walt Disney World at the moment with like Star Wars Land and all the new attractions like what recently announced Ratatouille over in Epcot, the gondolas. There's a lot going on there, but there always is over. There's a massive resort. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, new episode of the Disney Kingdom podcast with Victoria, where we're going to be talking about um, the Magic Kingdom attractions and some of the other bits and pieces from the D23 Expo. And also later today, I will be recording a podcast with James regarding all the video game stuff for our Diz Gaming uh, podcast. However, his flight got delayed, so that kind of slightly messed up plans this morning. So I'm going to do that one later today. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. I've also got um, a video going up as well on the gaming channel for um, Cars Free Driven to Win, which I recorded last night. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I shall see you guys soon. Laters.